Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Libras. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Libra. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It truly is an honor to have you and evolving right along here with me. So try. Thank you so much. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. I appreciate you all's comments and your feedback down below. Thank you so much, subscribers. And welcome, Libra, to the ones that are new here. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe as well. We would love to have you, Libra, part of our soul family. And be sure to adjust your notification bells when I do go live on this platform just about every day for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by there and get a check-in before you get your day started. All right, so no further ado, Libra. Let's go ahead and dive into your love life, all right? Let's see about the person here today that is on your mind. Let's see how they feel towards you. What are some things that they may want to say to you right now and why? Guardian angels, ancestors, what do we have for the collective messages here for Libra today? The readings here, Libra or general, definitely take care of what resonates for you. If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box if you would like to sign up for a personal reading today. All right, so no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in, Libra. Let's see about the person here today that is on your mind. Show me the person's energy here that is on Libra's mind here today. How does this person here feel towards Libra? What's the collective messages here for Libra placements? Show me the person here that is on Libra's mind, Guardian Angels, Ancestors. What do Libra need to know about this person here today that is on their mind? Show me the person here that is on Libra's mind. Show me the person here that is on Libra's mind. Thank you. Wow, the person here that's on your mind, they have decided to finally leave a situation from their past. All right, so this could be a water sign here that's no longer involved in a situation or a circumstance anymore that they're deciding to walk away from. Someone could be coming towards you, Libra. All right, this could be a Cancer, a Pisces, particularly a Scorpio here with the Eight of Cups energy here. Someone is no longer emotionally involved or attached to someone. Yeah, I told you, some of you all, this person is now coming towards you with an offer here, a love offer at that, okay? Again, this could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Whoever this person here is, uh, they're coming towards you with a love offer or a apology for some of you all. Let's see, let's clarify here. Let's clarify the Page of Cups. Tell me more about this person here today. That is on Libra's mind here. Clarify the Eight of Cups here. Tell me more about the person here that is on Libra's mind, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Tell me more about this person here that is on Libra's mind. Why do we have the Eight of Cups here? Wow, the Ten of Swords here. So the person here that's on your mind, they finally decide to walk away and put things to an end here with this person from their past. Whomever this person here was that portrayed them, they now have decided to finally walk away from that situation here. This could have also been an air sign, Libra. This could have been a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra like yourself. All right, this is why they're coming towards you. They've been through a painful ending here. Let's clarify the page of cups here. Tell me more about the person here that is on Libra's mind here. 
Yeah, whatever may have happened or transpired between you two, I do see someone coming in that wants to apologize to you as well. Some of y'all, this could be reversed. This person could have put you through pain here. This could have been a painful ending, of course, for some of you all, right? That has decided to remove yourself from this connection with this person here. Because at this point, it has come too much overwhelming for you. And the same pattern is taking place and happening in the relationship that may obviously has caused the conflicts here from the beginning. Clarify the Page of Cups. Confirmation from my device there. We got the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person wants to reach out to you regarding the person here that's on your mind. They're wanting to invest in you or try to rebuild or reestablish a relationship and uh, invest in a partnership with someone, at least they know where things could be able to manifest. This person felt like whoever they were with, things wasn't able to manifest with that individual. You know, uh, it was always conflicts with this person here, right? It was always betrayal actings happening in the relationship. Wow, so let's see how do you feel. How does Libra feel about this person here that's on their mind? How does Libra feel about this person here that is on their mind? Whoa, the Queen of Swords in reverse. You're fucking pissed off at this person here. This person upset you and caused you to step out of your element here. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, you went the fuck off on this person. You may feel like this person, you have had the audacity to come towards me with apology or a love offer here of wanting to invest in me. And I invested so much of your time, Libra, in this person is how you feel. Yeah, and they're steady wanting to come in with an apology here. And then we got the King of Cups here. This could be, a, he got heavy Scorpio energy here as well. Some of y'all, this person could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces here. But I do see here for some of y'all, that could have been a third party situation here. Uh, some of y'all, you may have found out that this person was in a commitment or in a marriage here with someone. Clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords energy here for Libra in reverse? Clarify the Queen of Swords. Wow, the fucking Queen of Wands. Yep. Some of y'all, this was definitely a third party situation. We have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and then we just seen the King of Cups. So there was definitely a situation where someone's betrayed here by a third party. Wow. So let's see what this person here wants to say. On behalf of everything here that was chatted out today and things that have transpired between you two, Libra, let's see what this person here wants to say. How did this person feel towards Libra? What are their feelings? What are their hidden feelings here towards Libra right now? How does this person feel? How does this person feel towards Libra? We have, I feel you even though we are apart. Wow. So whoever this person here is that you decide to separate or, you know, pull your energy back from, they still feel you even though you two are apart, even though you're not around this person. They still can feel your energy here or they're still connected with your energy here. What else is this person hidden feeling towards Libra? What else is this person hidden feelings here towards Libra? Wow, I regret lying to you, Libra. So again, everything that, you know, caused the situation or the circumstance to happen with this third party situation here, this person regrets lying to you about this person and not being honest to you. Yeah, look at that. We got the timing just wasn't right for us. So I feel like when you two maybe started dating each other or getting to know each other or uh, maybe even reconciling with each other, this person may still was involved 
with the queen of wands or still in a marriage or in a relationship as a commitment with that person when this person came back around towards you. Wow. So let's see. Let's see what they have to say here. I will make it all up for you. So this person here wants to come in, Libra, and make things up to you for what they may have done here. Yeah, look at that. I think of you. So this person definitely does a lot of thinking about you, which we can kind of see that from the other cards here from earlier today. And then we have, I want to give you the world. Okay, wow. Someone definitely wants to make things up by giving you the world here, okay? <laughs> That's the least they feel that they can do, huh? And then we have not for your highest good. Yeah, this whole situation, the third party circumstance here, you all realize this, that this was not for your highest good, that this situation wasn't for your highest good here is why you decide to separate yourself from this connection here. Yeah, look at that. We got you make me happy, okay? This is someone that is still in the space or have the same feelings about you, regardless of obviously what happened here and took place between you two. Wow, I watch you online, okay? So, which is I am not surprised here, Libra. This person still does observe you, watch you, check on you, wondering how you're doing, what you're doing, right? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and close out and get some more advice here. Wow. Definitely, if the reading here so far has resonated with you, Libra, again, smash that like button. That helps the channel to grow, and it definitely helps to get the message out in the algorithm for other Libra placements, all right? Wow. Let's get you some more advice here. What word of advice can Libra take away from this beautiful reading here today, Court of Angels? What word of advice? What word of advice do we have for Libra? What word of advice do we have for Libra and the person that is on their mind? Look for a sign, Libra. All right, so your Court of Angels and your ancestors here have been trying to connect with you, have been trying to give you guidance and answers, I feel like. You have to make sure that you're grounded here, Libra, and you're open to be able to receive the messages, making sure that you're not being distracted by other things or other people at this time. You have opportunities here, definitely messages coming in intuitively from your inner self, your spirit. So make sure that you're tuning in with your higher self, okay? Wow. So I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here, Libra. All right, again, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below. Thank you again for joining. If this was your first time today, be sure to set your notification bells when I do go live on the channel for all Zodiac signs. And if you would love to extend your stay and become part of the Patreon family or the OnlyFans page or the YouTube membership, all those details are also listed on the homepage for the links to sign up as well. Thank you so much, Libra, and I wish you and this person here, my loves, the best, all right? Bye-bye.